Hi everyone, I'm Malika from Ideas Modular Kitchens and I'm back with another video of Kitchens in Bollywood. The movie that we will be discussing today is Chef and particularly basically the kitchen in it. So we'll basically discuss the layout, what color scheme they've used and the ideas that you can pick up from it and things that you should actually avoid. So without any delay, let's get right into it. Let's just describe the kitchen first, okay? So it's basically a beautiful uh, island uh, kitchen. It's got a open uh, layout uh, sort of thing going for it. The island, which also has uh, the cooking on it, uh, has been highlighted with the three beautiful uh, drop lights uh, from above. And uh, the color of the kitchen is this uh, very subtle uh, gray with a slight tinge of uh, green, which they've basically chosen because it goes really well uh, with uh, the uh, dark leaf green uh, color that they've uh, taken for the walls. And uh, yeah, the island color is somewhere close to brown. I think and yeah the other part uh, is uh, this uh, dark uh, grey slightly bending on greenish uh, which is complementing and tying up everything from you know the wooden floors to the wooden island and of course the kitchen and the sink is uh, on uh, the side with the appliances in the fridge and as you can see in the open island they've given um, it uh, shelves on the right hand side where they've kept kept uh, the books and uh, the you know slight things that you need easy access to so i can see like paper napkins etc as for uh, the critiques of this kitchen i think one thing i would say is that they should have uh, extended this counter a little from this side uh, so that uh, people would uh, actually have leg space uh, while they're sitting um, when, when his colleague actually walks in uh, in a minute you will see that uh, she would actually be sitting at an angle instead of you know sitting uh, straight facing uh, Saif Ali Khan because there is no leg space for that I think another small critique that I would have is of the layout plan because technically the water area over here and uh, all the other appliances should not be that close by uh, but uh, yeah yeah should not be that close by as you can see there was like a wine chiller over here and then there was a refrigerator uh, right beside it uh, so the, the kitchen could have been a little better designed in those senses um, I cannot see a chimney anywhere around here I would assume that maybe these fancy lights one of them is a chimney but I couldn't see a duct pipe or anything so I'm not a hundred percent sure of that uh, but yeah that's like another one big major flaw and one of the reasons why uh, this kind of uh, design cannot be incorporated in Indian cooking unless and until you've got a great uh, chimney uh, with at least a thousand uh, suction capacity so the island chimney is missing in this so maybe it's something else maybe it's something that i am uh, missing out on um, but otherwise uh, the white tiles right behind uh, the washing area they look beautiful uh, they basically completely cut uh, through and give a really nice uh, texture to all the dark colors that are going around and all the other places of the kitchen and uh, yeah like as you can see it also kind of acts as a highlighter because everything else is uh, really uh, dark in this case and i think another thing that could have been maybe better is the fact that uh, they, they've got open shelves which is great and they've got like thick open shelves with that same uh, dark grayish color bending on green uh, but the second shelf over here that you can see is basically completely inaccessible so I am not sure uh, you know whatever uh, things that have been kept on it if it would have been even you know easy to access or not. 
if I pause it over here again, yeah, like you can see the appliances are on the side of the water and they've got these two shelves, but the upper one, it seems really difficult uh, to actually access. So maybe they could have taken, you know, instead of open shelves, they could have just taken like closed ones uh, so that, uh, you know, you can just dump things over there and not keep the ones that you would want to access on a daily basis. But other than that, uh, the island in which they've taken the cooking, that's great because uh, they're, they're also using that to prep everything and there's enough space for it because as you can see behind us, uh, most of the counter space has been taken up by the appliances and uh, the sink. So you would actually not have a lot of space to, you know, cut, chop and uh, you know store things so in that case uh, this particular layout is great because they've got uh, a decent uh, width of uh, uh, your uh, counter space for cooking and uh, for preparing and even serving in this case so yeah and yeah, as you can see the there is uh, a dining table right in front of the island so obviously this is also meant to be used as a serving table if and when he ever holds dinner parties which as we know in chef he never does at least not in his home so the key takeaways from the kitchen in Chef is that you can definitely uh, think about taking the color combination in which they have combined uh, the wooden uh, matte laminate uh, with the green and of course uh, the open layout uh, with uh, the island kitchen uh, with the island uh, in it in which you can do the cooking. The two things that you should be careful about is not keeping the water area and the appliances that were the fridge in the wine chiller in this case very close by and the fact that if you're having uh, open uh, shelves in your kitchen that they should be accessible otherwise there's no point in having them thank you for watching the video i really hope that uh, this uh, inspires you to design your own kitchen and helps you in the process if uh, you are doing that uh, we release uh, we try to release uh, new videos every week so please stay tuned for that and subscribe to our channel for more technical uh, videos about kitchens materials and finishes as well